and we thought we'd work on a little project that gets our minds out of the house and back out on the trail. What's going on adventurers? My name's Travis and welcome back to another project. Right here behind me is our 2018 Polaris Razor XP4 1000. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how we built a dog seat for the rear seat of this Polaris Razor so our golden retriever could tag along on the trails with us. I've owned a lot of off-road vehicles in the past from dirt bikes to Jeeps and I gotta say this Polaris Razor is my absolute favorite. You can load up the entire family and still have tons of room for gear. The rear seat in this XP4 1000 is the perfect place to bring your dog along. The problem is these stock bucket seats aren't really comfortable for them. You have a large gap where your feet go and there's just not a lot of support for the dog. So I'm going to walk you through how we set up this back seat to bring our golden retriever with us. If you're new to the channel, we are all about projects that add adventure to your life. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, we'd really appreciate the support. So let's get into this project. So the first thing we need to do is remove these back seats. They're really easy to do. Uh, there's just one handle right back here. You pull that up and you can lift the seat right out. And the other one. You can see with the seats removed, there's tons of extra space back here, but we need to make something to cover over this well where your feet go. This is the original piece we came up with. So it's a piece of plywood that we cut to fit in one of the seating positions. To make sure this fit, we took measurements of the widest and longest spot of the seating position, cut a nice rectangular piece of plywood, and then we just set it in there and kept marking off with a pencil any spots that were uh, catching and then just kept cutting out went all the way around till it sat in really nice This worked well, but the issue was the way the seat attaches to the razor There's a single pin at the back So our dog if he stepped on either side of the back It would tip side to side as well if you went too far forward the whole piece of plywood would start falling into that uh, foot well so to balance this out what we did was use old towels and blankets around the seat and then use a old wash bucket to put in the foot well to hold up the plywood. The problem with this is you're always going through mud and puddles all the time in this thing and those blankets and towels were just getting completely soaked and really nasty. So we wanted to beef up this design so we didn't have to use those towels and blankets as well as make a matching piece for the other side. That way our dog could have the entire back seat. To add some stability to the seat, we use these two by fours as runners. These span the gap where the seat frame would usually sit. You can see here, we had to cut out a portion of this two by four to make sure it fit nicely. It just so happens the height of these two by fours is the perfect height for the pin at the back of the seat. We needed something to support the front of this platform, so we built this set of legs that goes into the footwell. In the footwell, there's the perfect little ledge where your heels go that you can build these legs to sit on. Once we set the platform into the position, we took measurements to figure out the height of these legs. These are just two by fours that are all screwed together and we added this cross brace at the bottom just to add some extra stability. Now that the platform has all its supports, you can set it into its position. You can see with the runners at the back of the platform, there's no movement at the back and then at the front with the legs, it's quite sturdy. This design can take quite a bit of weight. We use the exact same process to build the platform for the other side of the razor. The thing to keep in mind when you're building these platforms is both sides don't really match each other. So you have to take individual measurements, uh, the cutouts for the platform, as well as the width of the legs. There's quite a few differences.
Now that the platforms are installed, you can see there's tons of space back here for our golden retriever. We're still not quite done. The issue here is there's still lots of holes where his foot could go down and get stuck or pinched. We purchased this off Amazon. I know it doesn't look like much now, it just looks like a black tarp, but what this is used for is the rear seat of a vehicle. It's meant to hang off the headrest as well as the back and create almost a U shape that is a nice safe space for your dog. The nice part about this setup is there's Velcro holes for the seat belt buckles to go through so we don't have to remove those. You can see now that this is in, there's tons of space back here. All those little pinch points are completely gone. Nice part with this setup is with this forward panel, it creates a little bit of extra protection forward as well if you have to hit the brakes hard. So that's how my wife and I set up our Polaris Razor XP4 1000 for this little guy right here. His name's Doug. Having the ability to bring the entire family along on a trail adventure makes it that much more fun. If you have any questions about the project or the products we use, please comment below. And remember to like and subscribe below to follow along with more adventure projects. Well that's it for us, we're going to take this little baby out for a test ride, but we hope to see you back here again really soon for another adventure project.